वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री जुत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांग श्री रूप साग्र जातन रघुनाथ सजीव साधित सवधुत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदान सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत बदाधर श्री वासादी गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Just to remember today that Pranam Mantra Guru Maharaj composed first. I want to recite that about Gadhar Pandit Goswami. Nilam Bhuti Tati Shada Shavira Hakshi Pani Tanga Bandhava Simad Bhagwati Katha Madhuraya Sanjivaya Bhati Jo Simad Bhagwatam Shada Chana Supaya No Ikujayon. गोस्मी प्रवर गदाधरा विभुर्भागवतम इन मोर शर्टर फॉर्म देन भक्तिनाथ ठाकुर कम्पोज सिक्स हंड्रेड श्लोक द भागवतम But Guru Maharaj wanted it in 300 shloka, but we are mis our uh, misfortune that is not happened. But he composed some shloka that Bhagavat. What uh, about the Pandit Goswami reading Bhagavat Bhagavatam to Mahaprabhu, and he just seeing in his divine vision, and that he uh, composed. That Mahaprabhu in the bank of blue ocean uh, in Puri Dham, he was in Puri Dham, and he is on the shore of the broad blue ocean. Gadha Pandit used to read Shrimad Bhagavatam to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was suffering from the great internal pain. Of separation from himself, Gadhar Pandit supplied the wine of Krishna Lila to intoxicate his afflicted friend and give him relief. As he read, tears would fall from his eyes like flower openings on the pages of Simad Bhagavatam. me the pleasure of that brilliant personality gadhar pandit the best of the goshamis be my only object in writing this book in this say guru maharaj remembered that gadhar pandit goshami giving bhagavat bhagavat katha and which uh, giving strength to mahaprabhu Mahaprabhu uh, was listening, and he was so many mad out of his separation. But now, by hearing Bhagavatam katha, Krishna katha from Gadhar Pandit, Mahaprabhu getting some strength in his such I mean painful condition. So Guru Maharaj remembered him, and we heard. That Sinivas Acharya also came to Gadhar Pandit in Tota Gopinath to hear Bhagavatam, but Gadhar Pandit said, "Oh, bring one Bhagavatam because my Bhagavatam is completely, my washed by the tears." Gadhar Pandit, out of his love for Krishna and Mahaprabhu, out of love for Bhagavatam, he. When reading, tears coming, 
as like Guru Maharaj says, it's like a offering, it's a flower, like flower. But that flower was <laughs> the writings of Bhagavatam. He has so intense love for Mahaprabhu and Krishna and his prema, uh, love coming as a tears. So Guru Maharaj, actually this is a high talks. This uh, Gadara Pandit, Radha Tattva, he is Radha Tattva, but it is in a peculiar way. <laughs> uh, we can't understand, but actually Mahaprabhu came to distribute this Leela, but with, in, with five forms, he took the five forms. Uh, so, one of these form is Gadadhar Pandit. Oh, we know she is representing Radharani. She is Radharani here, but in other form, that all the um, bhava, his, his, uh, his, uh, everything is taken by Krishna and he becomes no Mahatahu. And he looks like empty. Empty, yeah. but he never forget Mahaprabhu, always like a shade. As a shade, he, he is Gandhara uh, Pandit Mahaprabhu. Uh, so, Guru Maharaj spoke many things so nicely about Gandhara Pandit that rather he has two corresponding moods. She is uh, Radha in Krishna and Golila, the mood of distribution. So she is Gadadhar. In Golila, Krishna, Gaurang, Krishna, Gauranga appears with dear Bhavakanti of Radharani as Gadadhar. And the man standing by his side like Nishkinchan, one who has lost everything. He is standing there like a fancy man. Only a only the form without the spirit. Oh, we see uh, that is the form of Gadadhar Pandit. He he, he looks like he lost everything. Uh, Guru Mahal saying, but Gadar has so much inner attraction for Mahaprabhu that it surpasses all of his other associates. In Gadar, we find personified love for Gauranga. No such a degree of love for Gauranga can be found anywhere else. Next in the affection is Sarudamadar. Then comes Rupa and Shanadana. In the Madhurjanira connection, then Nitananda and Shojimata in the Matsalo connection. Advaita Prabhu and Siddhar Pandit also have love for Mahaprabhu. But their but devotion of another type. It is not so deep from the point of view of love, but a respectful attachment. Gadha Pandit tolerated injustice his whole life. All wealth has plundered from his heart. As with Radharani, everything is ransacked by Krishna to enhance his la Leela. And the real owner, he is treated as he were bankrupt. Gadadhar is bankrupt in his own wealth. That is his position. He is wholly dedicated to Mahaprabhu. Gadadhar Pandit's position, the part he played was something like that of Radharani, our heart stolen by Krishna. The empty body is still standing. Radha Bhava Duti Subalitam, Nomi Krishna Sharupam. He was fully engrossed in the conception of Sri Gauranga. 
Gauranga took everything from him. So he had no other alternatives. He was fully absorbed, captured completely by him. We find his activity throughout his whole life was like this. Of the other devotees, some were ordered to go to Vrindavan and some were allowed to go there. But though Gadadhar Pandit wanted to visit Vrindavan with Mahaprabhu, himself he was denied. When Jagadananda Pandit asked to go there, Mahaprabhu with hesitation granted him permission. Yes, go there, but move always under the guidance of Rupa and Shanatana. He also gave him some special instruction, but Gadadhar Pandit was not allowed to go there. He was the expansion of Srimati Radharani herself. Yet, his peculiar position was such the queen of Vrindavan, but now transferred to Navadip. His position had become just the opposite. He could not enter Vrindavan. Uh, he prayed for permission, but Mahaprabhu did not give it. He said, no, stay and live here. And he had to do so. Sikadha Pandit represents the predominated moiety of the whole. The whole consists of predominating and predominated moities. And he represents the predominated half. He is one half of the absolute truth. Guru Mahat must say very nicely more. Gadadhar Das, there is another, there is two Gadadhar. One is Gadadhar Das, and today is Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Das represents the hello of Radharani, but Gadadhar Pandit represents her mood, her nature, her heart. Gadadhar Das is accepted as Kanti, Bhava Kanti. Radha Bhava Duti Shubhrita. Radhani is con conceived as divided into two, the inner mood and the outer luster. So Das Goswami, so Das Gadadhar is um, conceived as the outer luster. And the Pandit Gadadhar is seen as the inner mood. Mahaprabhu has already assumed both and the remaining shadow is represented in them. Das Gadadhar used to stay near Calcutta in, in area of the hall. He was, a, he was a simple and straight-minded man. One day he approached the Kaji Muslim governor. You Kaji, you must take the name of Krishna. Why? I'm a Muslim. Why should I take the name of Krishna? Oh, you have taken already. You have taken the name of Krishna and he embraced him. Yes, you have taken. The Kaji was friendly to him. We find something more important in Gadadhar Das and in his last days. He came to take charge of that place of Katwa where Mahaprabhu took Shannas. And he opened a temple there. Those who are at present in charge of that temple are in the disciplic line of Das Gadadhar. His Samadhi also there. But Gadadhar Pandit, we must say like Rukmini. We may look to the outer aspect of Gadadhar. His bhava has been taken, empty. Rukmini means Dakshina, not Bama. Bama nature is a little aggressive and fights with the lover. Dakshina tolerates everything, whatever comes. Only with a defensive attitude, that is Dakshina. That is the mood of Rukmini. So when Mahaprabhu plundered the spirit of Radharani, the rebellious Bama nature, what remains is comparable to Rukmini, a passive sin without any power to assert. Only an onlooker and onlooker, tolerating everything, a very pitiable condition that elicits kindness and sympathy from everyone. But we see there is a word, Gaur Gadadhar worship. Gadadhar is the asra, shelter, and Gaur is the bisha, enjoyer. But Vishwa has taken the mood, the nature of Asrai. That is Gauda. Both shelter and angel combined. When Krishna assumed the characteristics of Radhika, 
is Gora. When Krishna assumed the characteristics of Radhika, he is Gora, the inaugurator of Nama Shankirtan, that is Gora Narayan, he is Vishoy Avatar, the incarnation of enjoyment. Gauranga is Radha Krishna combined. He is Krishna in the mood of Radhika. He has accepted the nature of Radha. When he is searching after himself, trying to taste what sort of ecstasy is in himself, the self-searching Krishna is Gauranga. He is trying to understand himself. What sort of ecstasy is within him? Krishna in the mood of his devotee, that is Gauranga. Introspection, self-seeking, searching for his own wealth. He is also distributing it to others. He is inquiring about himself and distributing that personally to the public. That is Gauranga, showing how he should be served by serving himself. He is demonstrating to the public how he should be served. And for that, he took the mood of Radharani to search after himself. What is there? Why should others come to him? What is he that so attract them? And then he is giving himself to others. Krishna is Guru. When Krishna himself is Guru, then he is Gauranga. Guru Rupa Hari, uh, Guru Mahal Kampas Lok, Guru Rupa Hari, Gauranga, Radha Ruchira Chapritam, Nittam Naomi, Navadipi, Nama Kirtan Arthanai, Gadapandi is Radha Bhavad Duti, Subalitam, the entire wealth of Radhana's feelings, her sentiments, mood, and even her luster were taken by Krishna. Radhani voluntarily gave all these things. I can't allow you to roll on the earth with your body. I shall unfold you. That emptiness we find in Gadadhar Pandit. He is running after Mahaprabhu as his shadow, but he is not poor. It is his wealth that has given Mahaprabhu such a dignified position. Some even think that he is superior to Krishna himself that magnanimous Gauranga, the public deliverer of Krishna. For our interest, on behalf of the fallen souls, Guru has come to ask us for general relief work. We cannot but think that he is greater than Krishna. And Gadadhar Pandit's contribution is there in him. In the higher summer, in the darkest night, Gadadhar Pandit appeared. But that does not mean that we should underestimate him. What is his reality? His nature as Radharani. We have to inquire, understand, and realize. Guru Mahal is saying like that. Radha Pandit disappeared in Amabasya during the dark moon. Bhakti Thakur also passed away under the dark moon. Prabhupada has written, Gadadhar Dindhari, Payachi Gaurahari. Prabhupada noted something common to Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Gadhar Pandit that they disappeared on the same day. In this connection, Bhakti Vinod Thakur received the grace of Sri Gauranga. Bhakti Vinod is a favorite of his. Prabhupada has revealed this. In another place, he wrote that the eternal pastimes are always going on Navadiv Dham. Sometimes they are underground invisible to us, and sometimes on the surface. Nitya always is invisible to us. Now suddenly these two personalities have come to the surface. Gadadhar Pandit and Sharub Damodar, both, both have come. Sharub Damodar came as Gauru Kishar, and Gadadhar Pandit came as Bhaktivinoda Thakur. <laughs> this is not to be given expression in any and every place, this is connected the truth, not to be expressed everywhere and anywhere. This is the fact. They are always here, continuing their own function. Their participation in the Leela of Gauranga, sometimes it is underground, sometimes overground, but it's always difficult to recognize them. Uh, in this way, Guru Maharaj spoke many things. Uh, 
this is a high high things high topics <laughs> i don't understand so much but i'm trying to read today uh, guru maharaj also say about gaur gadadhar worship bhakti maharaj thakur was fond of gaur gadadhar worship they are there in his samadhi in gadrum and also in narsingha uh, mandir at jogopit mayapur gaur gadadhar are established in two places uh, but we see three places another place uh, gadadhar bhavan prabhupad also installed gaur gadadhar in godai gorangamat in balihati dhaka prabhupad established their worship there gaur gadadhar and here in navadip dijobaninath the time of mahaprabhu he worshiped gaur gadadhar dijobaninath is a, like a disciple of gadadhar pandit so time of mahaprabhu he worshiped gadadhar the gaur gadadhar is represent complete madhurya conception and more in them there is separation union in separation gadadhar pandit has radharani's bhav all the he was the possessor of that wealth mahaprabhu took it and he stood empty plundered following mahaprabhu as his heart had been stolen yet he cannot shun him nor leave him however mahaprabhu goes gadadhar pandit runs after him like a poor man all his wealth has been stolen with an empty bag without any vanity with a vacant heart he is running in pursuance of mahaprabhu that is his position premo vaichitta in vishnu padavali is called premo vaichitta separation in union separation in union <laughs> yeah. union and separation like madhurya ras but a vow has been taken in in the temple both husband and wife may be engaged in worship of lord Though both of them are present, wife and husband together, some bow is taken so they cannot enjoy. What is their attitude? They do not act as husband and wife, but one is engaged in worship and the other is supplying the materials for worship. <laughs> they are separated, but still Gadar stands in the position of Radha Rani. They have taken a bow together. That sort of some book is present. Shambhuk means enjoyment present. Spiritual separation in physical proximity. Spiritual separation in physical proximity. The highest purity is there without any enjoyment. Still, it is lila bilash, the amorous first times. It is like that. That is Gaur Gadadhar. Sometime in the case of Radharani and Krishna, they experience prema bhichitto. they are standing closely together are yet still experience some feeling of separation so intense is their feelings even though they are together they are feeling the pain of intense separation that is prema vaichitta a first time is mentioned where in krishna radhani uh, and shoki sir present radhani sees a image in the body of krishna it is so transparent the body of krishna Radharani image is reflected there, and Radharani thinks, "Oh, there is another lady with a golden-colored body." So is it is it a high talk? So in this way, Guru Maharaj expressed uh, in his Hari Katha about Gadhar Pandit. So, the, but it is told also the highest position of sacrifice. Gadhar Pandit shown us. Krishna and Radharani were born between the new moon and the full moon, but Mahaprabhu took his birth under the full moon. And Gadhar Pandit under the new moon. The new moon means no moon. The full moon was taken by Mahaprabhu, and the new moon was taken by Gadhar Pandit. He is master of everything, but he has given everything to his master, and he is empty. He is empty. He is playing in such a way. His part, Gadhar Pandit. He stands the highest position of sacrifice. This is the ontological. This is the ontological perspective. So in this way, uh, many things told, and Chaitanya Charitamrita we see how Gadhar Pandit uh, sacrificed. He wanted to go with Mahaprabhu, 
But Mahaprabhu said, no, you took Kshetra Shannash. But Gautamana said, Kshetra Shannash, more Jaka Rashatala, I don't care Kshetra Shannash. Where you are, that is my Kshetra. <laughs> In so many ways, he want to uh, say, but Mahaprabhu, again, ask, you want my happiness or your happiness? <laughs> then Gautamana cannot say anything. If you want my happiness, then you go back to Gopinath. <laughs> uh, and Mahaprabhu, uh, given he ha, uh, him the service of Gopinath, in Tota Gopinath, in, in Puridham, you know, how he found the Gopinath in that garden. And he asked, I have found one, one Ratna, a jewel. Will you accept it? Then God said, why I shall not accept when you are giving? Then Mahaprabhu given him he found eh, uh, that Gada, I mean, Gopinath appeared from the sand, eh, from the hand of Mahaprabhu. Uh, it was, service was given to uh, Gada Pandit. And we heard that, that when it's old age, Gada Pandit cannot, uh, it's, it is a little difficult to put mala, I means garland. So now we see that Gopinath, just like in a half sitting position, that he, he want the garland from Gadadhar. Therefore, he took the half sitting that what will be easy for Gadadhar Pandit because he was old. In this way, we had so many glories of Gadadhar. And today is the day, and it is told that without Ratha Bhajane Jodi, Moti Nahi Vela, Krishna Bhajan Tavo. If we not love Radhani, then our if we not serve Radhani, then our Krishna Bhajan will be useless. Same way, Gadadhar Pandit. If we love Gadadhar Pandit, then we shall get the mercy of Mahaprabhu easily, right? <laughs> but everything is like hidden. But it is the truth that um, uh, so you see in, in Ragamarga. Those who went in the Ragamarga, they worship Gaur Gadadhar. Uh, but uh, Vidhimarga is Gaur Nityananda worship. But it's with high, high position. But we see Bhakti Thakur shown us, and Prabhupada, uh, many, some places he, he given us as today, his apparent day. So I'm giving my obeisance to him and, and Mahaprabhu and all the Vaishnavas here. And to conclude here, Jai Gadhar Pandit Goswami Ki Jai. Is a parent day Ki Jai. All Vaishnavas bring the Ki Jai. Upamanandi Hari